Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 26 here on the frozen rock. And we have got things to do. Well, first off, I did a little bit of off-camera work on some stuff. One of the things that I did do was go visit the monks because we were just having such difficulties trying to find the the last of the ores and so I took advantage of their uh, ore scanner and I did find the gold titanium and lithium that's the good news the bad news is and let me show you let's see if you look off in that direction up over the mountains and let's do this GPS, uh, let's see, so let's turn this one on, well actually we'll turn all three of them on, turn the gold, the lithium, and the titanium. So the bad news is, you can see the titanium is up in that direction. Uh, 4.43 kilometers puts it up up over that ridge and the gold is almost 10 kilometers which again is well up over that ridge so that's going to be the challenge to get to it and then if we swing around this way and the lithium deposit now this one might not be quite as hard to get to I might be able to drive up where that is and I'll have to do the scouting on it uh, but it is out over there on top of the hill and so yeah that's going to create some challenges but at least wise we know where those deposits are so let me go ahead and turn those back off for now and need to having them cluttering up the screen and we do that what else do I have on I might as well I can turn those off we can kind of declutter a little bit uh, that unknown signal that has just landed oh it's right over here heck I see it coming down uh, maybe I'll go grab it uh, since it is no more than uh, a kilometer away, so that'll be good. That'll help give us a few more resources. Anyway, so so we've done that. I'll kind of show you what else I've kind of done. I, I really just kind of did, uh, I still have this to do, and, but I did do some welding up. I welded up all of these concrete blocks here. I. Uh, welded up all of these concrete blocks so that we are ever so steadily getting the base completed and so today's mission what I want to do today is create a loading dock for the ores that I'm bringing in so instead of me sitting there hand I'm still gonna have to hand load them out into the uh, cargo truck but at least while he's here what I want to do is set up a connector uh, type system that I can then just back the truck up to and then it will unload the ores for me now the other thing is too I'll have to put a connector onto this so that I can back that up and I think I can do that by uh, if we look at this here, uh, conveyor and cargo, I can add conveyor frames out to that and then put my connector onto it. Now I could put another medium cargo box on there, but I'm not sure I will have enough power to get up and down the hills. The other thing that I can do and I might do this as well and it's something to take a look at but if we look at here now that we've got rubber if we go to uh, 
let's see here. Uh, let's go to all block. Okay. So if we come down here to tires, let's go. Tires. All right. Fine. Uh, so we have the off-road suspension. We were using this metal wheel suspension. And so we can switch these up to a better suspension. Uh, we could actually go to a higher suspension, which if I can do that, then it will probably give me a little more power and we might be able to get uh, farther up the hill. So I might do some redesigning of the buggy here. Uh, I got, I still have some batteries laying around here, so I could put more batteries on here as well. They'll just kind of run right down the side. So if I put maybe two more batteries on each side for a total of four batteries, then that would probably help really increase the buggy's uh, ability for for power and by putting on the additional wheels which I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to end up doing plus I left the pistons on here so this will be easy enough to raise up and then replace these wheel blocks uh, if I can get this a little higher off the ground with more power I think that that's what I should do all right I think well, that's about what I need to do. I can go ahead and mark finding ores off of here and move them over to this side, and I'll get that done. And then we can kind of start working on, uh, uh, well, what I'm going to do is uh, add in uh, truck upgrade, that sort of thing. So I will uh, actually, so once I go and get that, uh, and I get started on the loading bay, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I have gotten some of the framework in, and here, here's what my plan or my thought is. Let me get around over here. Kind of point things out with the welder here so I have well you can't hardly see it but I have a sorter going into the rock crusher uh, or the ore crusher and that is going to allow the ores to go into there that will uh, see a improvement or an up you know uh, a much more refined ore coming out of that. So that'll be like your iron and bauxite and uh, aluminum, or well, I guess that's bauxite, uh, silica, stuff like that. Now, so with that said, gravel doesn't do anything going through the rock crusher. Uh, so what I've done was add a well, here, let me go around to the other side over here. I've put in two, two pipes so that one going up on the right-hand side is going to be for gravel, which will go straight to the refinery to process uh, the gravel. It will, it will pull out some iron and silica and stuff like that. But that's not going to be the main purpose of the rocks. The rocks is to create gravel, so I have cement and some of that other stuff that I need gravel for. So that sorter on top of the small cargo box will divert gravel over to the refinery. Now this other one, since I couldn't, uh, the sorter only goes one way and it doesn't have an up function on it basically. I put in uh, a sorter here for the oil sand because I don't want the oil sand going through the refinery because it'll just create carbon and that's not really what I need out of the oil sand. 
Uh, I want it going straight over to the, uh, uh, what is it? The extractor over here. So the oil sand will, will come in and it will come out of the other sorter that is right here. So the oil sand will come out of here and in through that pipe and then go straight over to the extractor. Uh, and so I'll have that set up to only allow oil sand through. And then I am going to put have to put one on this side. I'll put another sorter on this side that will uh, run over to, uh, I'll probably put it straight up and over the top so that it can come down directly into here, which will go into the chemical plant. And that's going to be your niter. And I believe, uh, I think the lithium, and I thought there was one more. I'll have to look, look that up. But uh, that will process those particular chemicals uh, ores coming coming into the chemical refinery. Uh, so just wanted to kind of give you an update on where I was at. A uh, lot of scaffolding in place. Yeah, it really kind of looks like a uh, uh, starting to look like a more of an industrial refinery complex here. I also did build another uh, acid battery up up there, so we now have six in. And I'm doing those just little bits at a time because it takes so long to produce the 100 acid cells for those batteries. So that uh, is over there. Uh, the assembler is uh, working away on producing those acid batteries once it gets another hundred of them uh, build up over and into here we should hear it working away over here or we should see it working away anyway yeah it's uh, producing and so it's got 17 of them right now and it will uh, what are we missing? Are we out of copper? Well, good thing I looked at this. I guess I'm going to have to go get some more gravel. Uh, I don't think I have a copper mine or that I've found copper ore. Let's just take a look, see what the inventory shows. Uh... I have not. I've got silicon. Well, I got silicon rocks, but I also know where there's silicon at. Uh, son of a gun. Well, another thing to put on the list. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update on where I was at. Uh, it is ever so slowly coming along, uh, getting all the framework in anyway. I've still got a lot more. I need to put more piping in, like I said, for the, the chemical refinery. Uh, and then I need to put my uh, loading boom on here, which will be an advanced rotor. And, and I just used a small cargo box so that it can have a central point for processing. So I'll put a advanced rotor on right here uh, and then what I will do is put a connector or not a connector but then I'll put a uh, an elbow piping coming out this way and then I haven't decided if I want to go out this side with it or out this side but I'll probably put two pipes and then another connector or another elbow and then on to that will be a connector which then I can rotate that up or down and adjust for the height of the vehicle that I have coming in. 
So once I get that set, then it'll be pretty much. But that makes it a lot easier instead of uh, trying to build and, 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 and monkeying around trying to raise and lower the, create a platform that will come directly onto here. So that works pretty well. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Once I get a little farther along here, I will uh, give you another update. So uh, see you all in a little bit. Okay, another update on what I have gotten in place so far. More of the wireframe. So I've changed this up a little bit. I put a T-junction in right here that goes into the chemical refinery. So it still is connected going down below uh, for whatever reason, whatever we might need. And then I've got the piping going up and over and running alongside the other pipes up above and that is coming down into another sorter and again that's going to be niter and whatever chemicals that the chemical plant can process now i forgot to lock my rotor so my arm hit the ground that's okay once i get once I get the rotor built, I'll be able to raise it back up to where it belongs. And so what I've done here is I have an advanced rotor going in. So that allows me to have uh, be able to transport or uh, convey uh, uh, ores and whatnot through the rotor. An elbow, uh, a couple of uh, straight pipes, and then another elbow, and then I have a connector right here so once I have that all built I can uh, raise or lower that connector arm to match up to the vehicle that's going to be attaching to it uh, so that's what we've got to this point uh, I need to start building this out and I would like to try to get this done today as much as I can anyway and so I'll keep building away it's going to take a, going to take a lot of uh, uh, building right now to, to get this in so I better get started on it and once I get this done uh, that's gonna about wrap it up but we we've, we've still got plenty of time to go we only got about 18 minutes into the video uh, so I will start uh, collecting uh, parts that I need and start building all of this out. And hopefully it uh, is not going to take me too, too long to do this. So once, once I get uh, part of this built out, I will give you another update as I'm working along. So I'll catch back up with you in just a little bit. Okay, just another update. Uh, I have managed to get some of this all completed out through here. And I got started on the piping going up across the top, but I started running out of resources. So that's why the cargo truck is parked there. I had to go get a load of gravel just so I could start getting more copper and iron and whatnot. Uh, so that's why this is getting to be pretty important in trying to get this built and in place. I have, uh, so I did get a load. It is producing a way. What I want to do is get all of the piping done, at least for the gravel and the uh, oil sand. Uh, the niter and stuff, I haven't gone and got any of that, but I will need to get that done. So I'm going to keep working away just to see how much of this I can get done. And then I will also need to update the board. So that's kind of my goal for today is to f try to finish 
that piping and to get the get this all updated because we do I do have some updates to put on that. But that means I'm going to have to go mine some more gravel or more stone and while that is doing that. So uh, it could be producing the parts that I need to build some more stuff or to finish building this stuff out. So and it's going to be a hold up on the motors because they need electro magnets for the motors and then it has to produce the motors which is going to be taking resources to take that to get that done so I will uh, catch back up with you here in just a few minutes once I have uh, some more of this piping completed and I steadily get this stuff into place all right and the sun's uh, it's about midday here all right, I will uh, catch back up with you in just a little bit. Okay, well, I think it's going to be a little shorter video this this week. Uh, even though it's a shorter video, I did get an awful lot accomplished today. I didn't quite get all of... The docking station, I guess is what I'll call it, in. Uh, the only thing that's left is to finish building out the pipeline over to the uh, extractor. So that's for the oil sand. But I don't have much left to go on it. I just got that piping right there to finish. But I did get the piping all in for the chemical refinery and I got the grab well let's go up there I got the piping in for the gravel so when the gravel comes in it will end up going directly to the refinery so that's all done which was a big that's gonna really make it a lot easier to uh, haul my gravel in haul all of my ores in because then I could just back up park it and connect it and then the system will just pull all the all the ores out of the cargo truck and then I will uh, have to set up all of my sorters in the next uh, in the next episode. The uh, next episode is going to focus on getting that last little bit of the pipeline in, and then upgrading the cargo hauler. Uh, give it more power, uh, build more batteries on it. So I think the first trip we'll take with it uh, is once once I get the new wheels, get it upgraded. Uh, I'm going to put new suspensions on it and they will be rubberized wheels and add the conveyor on uh, and then uh, go get lithium. I have enough to build a couple of batteries. I'm not sh sure if I'm going to, it'll probably be easier to build batteries so I've got enough lithium paste to build uh, some more batteries on there so it'll have some more power and I am going to run over here see if I can get this I didn't realize this one landed so close let's see if we can get over here and get this unknown signal and then I'll f give you let you uh, show you what else I've got done and then it'll be about time to call this a, a video complete for the this week uh, again, going to be a little bit shorter video, but again, got quite a bit accomplished. And I actually collected quite a few of these unknown signals, which is what's given me the, at least rise now, enough uh, lithium paste to at least build a couple of more small batteries. And actually, I can grind up all of those others out there, kind of clean up the uh, uh, yard a little bit. And get that out of the way 
And then that will give me more. Let's see. I should be able to build uh, maybe four more batteries to put on the uh, cargo truck, which will give it more power. Because I noticed how... What is this one? Okay, this one's not one of those flying ones. All right, let's get this uh, turned off so it doesn't explode on us. Ah, leopard welder. All right, and then let's grab everything out of here. All right. And we'll get it all ground down. No, this, so I'll have enough lithium, I think, to build four or five batteries that I can add to the cargo hauler, which will give it that much more power. And I think it will serve to be able to get out at least to the lithium. Uh, I'm not sure up to the titanium. Come on. Oh, I hate There it is. All right, let's get these. Uh, to be able to get up to the titanium and the gold, I might have to do some sort of flying Energy mission snow. to get that. Uh, I'm not going to need that much. So maybe a flying trip up there, but we'll have to scout that out. All right, there's that. Let's get back over here to the base. Uh, so again, I mentioned that I got, uh, oh, I'm about out of power as well, go figure. I did mention that uh, I got a couple more acid batteries done. And I'll point those out over here. I think those are making quite a bit of difference in being able to keep the base running. Because uh, I've really been using a lot of uh, juice building all of that pipeline and stuff in and it's harnessing or at least I hope it's harnessing the power from the solar panels and not just the hydrogen engines I've got to fill up my ice uh, my small cargo con uh, containers for ice these are empty This is still generating, but it's just about empty. So anyway, so I got two of these built. And we'll go down here and look at the board. Ah, let's go this way. So at the beginning of the episode, I mentioned that we found gold, titanium, and lithium because I took advantage of the monks. Um, or scanner. Uh, so I updated that. Uh, I added upgrade to cargo truck. We got to get that done. And I put finish the acid batteries so I don't forget about them as those uh, acid cells are getting completed. I also don't have copper found. I didn't realize that. I was looking at that. So we've still got to find copper. And then, of course, I still want to get that coal production facility in. All right, so let's see. That about wraps this episode up for today. And it looks like I'm about out of energy, so this is a good time to, to call it good. All right, space engineers, keep building a way out there. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that uh, thumbs up uh, on the video. It really helps the video out. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.